15th August 1947. Our country may have become independent that day, but at the same time, 565 princely states of India also became equally independent. Home Minister Sardar Vallabh Bhai Javed Bhai Patel and his trusted secretary and famous ICS officer V P Menon. were entrusted with the responsibility of uniting the provinces into one nation with efficient leadership and brilliant strategy sardar patel and vp menon made it possible and within a year 562 princely states out of 565 were ready to merge with india but the areas which were not still merged with india were primarily kashmir junagadh and hyderabad among them hyderabad was not only the largest princely state but its total geographical area was also way larger than the united kingdom the princely states of hyderabad included many areas of the states like present day maharashtra telangana andhra pradesh karnataka and chatisgarh hyderabad was then ruled by nizam usman ali khan the seventh ruler of nizam asaf jahi dynasty however usman ali khan was a mere puppet as real powers was in the hands of qasim rizvi who was one of the advisors to the nizam and a powerful leader Qasim Rizvi was leading a private army of his own followers called Rajakars According to the sources the number of Rajakars ranged between 20000 to 200000 According to these Rajakars either Hyderabad should have been an independent state or it should have been merged with Pakistan but such a decision was impossible in every situation The first reason is that Even if though Hyderabad was ruled by radical Rajakars the people are not only opposed their rule but also were willing to merge with India at any cost Second reason was that linking Pakistan with Hyderabad was an illogical one because the nearest city of Pakistan was also about 1500 kilometers from the Hyderabad region At that time India was administered by the Governor General of India and India's last viceroy before independence Lord Louis Edward Mountbatten he wasn't in favor of using any kind of force and wanted all the issues to be resolved through dialogue and uh, this was also proved by the then PM Jawaharlal Nehru but Sardar Patel disagreed completely and he clarified that the merger of Hyderabad into India is almost impossible without military action However the three agreed to the statement that Hyderabad should be compelled to sign a stand still agreement in which the Indian army would be stationed outside the borders of Hyderabad and Hyderabad would treat its citizens fairly But the Nizam refused to sign the proposal due to the fierce demonstration of Qasim Rizvi's Rajakars after which Sardar Patel had to resort to the use of force Eminent officers like Lieutenant General Rajendra Singh Ji Jadeja were appointed for this operation. Since Hyderabad has the largest number of polo grounds in the country, this military operation was named Operation Polo. Military operation under Operation Polo began on 13th of September 1948 and after 4 days on 17th of September 1948, the Nizam announced a ceasefire. as more than half of the hyderabad territory was annexed by the indian army from different directions the men under my command were called upon to perform a superhuman task and against very heavy odds there was no alternative for me left but to surrender major general jayantunath choudhury accepted the surrender of hyderabad's chief of army staff major general said Ahmed El Adros Though it was only a 5 day war it was significant as Indian army took over a powerful state and Hyderabad was officially merged with India In this battle more than 2000 Rajakars were slain along with 800 of the Hyderabad state forces However to our grief 32 brave warriors of the Indian army also embraced martyrdom <laughs>